Whoa. It's a loading bay. Oh, so that's where these things came from. Oh, makes sense. Okay, Mr. Shore. Tape's running. Thank you for agreeing to be recorded. Oh, um, should I just start talking? What do you want to know? Uh, what made you decide to seek counseling? Oh, man, Doc, it's just, it's just weird. As in, I feel weird. Like, I, like I'm weird all the time, you know? I'm not saying this right. People think I'm weird, and it's cool I am, but I, I should feel weird, right? Normally, no, you shouldn't. So as to why you are, beats fucking me. Uh, how exactly do you feel weird? Off, odd, slightly tilted. I, I, I've had these nightmares ever since I can remember. I've always had these horrific dreams I can't explain. And they recur. Man, like there are themes in them that keep coming back. And uh, honestly, Doc, it's been such a constant that I shape my life around them. Like a shriek like you? No. Honestly, for the longest time, I thought it was normal life to wake up sweating, to see things in the dark, frightful things. What is it that frightens you, Alan? See, see that's the thing I don't get. My, my whole life, I could feel the presence of shadows. I could hear sorrow. Dark. It's poetic, man. I know. I, I got so used to being paralyzed by dread that I, I began to like it. And people notice, you know, I, I, I say weird stuff sometimes, I guess. At some point, I just decided to live comfortably in this reality, maintaining a beacon of light over a sea of darkness, alone and afraid. But I'd be lying if I didn't admit to being swallowed by darkness or sinking Alive, man. It's electric. So I'm guessing he's gonna have to do something about electricity. Because that's kind of just a big indicator right there. You know. I've been saying less recently, but there hasn't been much going on for me to say. I, I was a little tired for a little while. Now I am waking up a little more. Because it's it's daytime once again. Thankfully, I've gotten over that long-winded like sleep deprivation. <sighs> yeah, definitely tell I'm tired. Both the light and the dark will hurt you. Perhaps like him, you should get a job at the lighthouse, alone and afraid. <laughs> ain't forget, ain't you forgetting something?
Okay, that took fucking forever. God damn, it still hits around me even here. That works. Sorry, no light at the end of this tunnel. Maybe at the top of the tower, the bottom of the pit. For survival, I guess. Perhaps when the sun lays its head upon a pillow of water and clouds respond in orange and pink, you shall see the revelation as John did at Patmos. Man, I don't even know what to say of this game. It's so weird. Character models are a little bit uh, wonky, but I forgive that. Because the game is really fucking interesting. Ah! Son of a bitch, it hits me here? Nygaard, 210 Main Street Apartments, Milton Haven, Alice Nygaard, it's been erased, home 069338, date of incidents, time 2 a.m., police notified, uh, not checked, on the road next Icarus Lighthouse, I thought it was blown tire at first, but asphalt in the road is melting or something. Truck stops short a few hundred feet. God, these fucking things move so jankily. Not get through here. Nope, you can. You're just stupid.
not even in it, asshole. Blocked from the other side. Of course it is. Okay, so there's a Milton Wharf. We were here. We're apparently supposed to see something out here when this is done. But we have to get up here to this area. Shouldn't be too bad. That motherfucker. Hey, Chris Lighthouse, other. Are you really Icarus Lighthouse? You don't think that's a bit like on the nose? Mm, not bad. Hmm, not bad. No authorized entry statements, chemical agents in the area. A gross lighthouse, which may lead to serious injuries, illnesses, or death. All right, we're in. Uh oh.
That's helping you, bitch. Fuse box. What the? Oh, there's a fucking flying saucer! Really? How do you expect me to... How do you expect me to know that? Hmm? How? How? I didn't know what to do. I didn't. Because this game was like, oh, you're supposed to do this. How the fuck am I supposed to know that? Do you want to fucking live? Can we not have my fucking phone go off as I'm playing this game? Jesus, that was stupid. Shut up, phone.
take a look at yourself through the looking glass and see how shrouded in darkness a mind like Alan's could be. Make it bright, illuminated. Why couldn't my flashlight just do that? I was in the tower when it happened. I took the route down the cliffs and to the boathouse, falling as I fumbled around, unable to see. Of all the nightmares I'd had to date, this must be the worst. My light went out, and there was an accident. Oh god, it's all my fault. The monster I was told that I was making up have now stepped forth out of the shadows. The ship is death, it bears death's name. I managed to find one of those flare guns from inside the belly of the beast. I'm not afraid to use it. By my light, the darkness will burn. I need to call Desmond, he would understand. Something stops me from getting closer. I don't want to see it. I don't know, because I just don't want to fucking see it. Courtyard key. The door leading to the courtyard is locked. And there we go. It's no longer locked anymore. Whew. Point. What am I doing? I don't know. What are you doing? Agent. Instructions are to take highly flammable containers up from the bay where the and move them indoors. No smoking flare guns or explosives near this crap. Keep an eye on the driver smoking around transport. If he gives you about it, arrest him. In a world full of darkness, it is reasonable to try and find light. Alan did when he went down to that ship. Welcome to Icarus Paradise Point. Icarus Point. A guided tour of one of the oldest lighthouses in the Pacific Northwest. We start our tour at the Lighthouse Museum, a faithful recreation of the original Lighthouse Keeper lodging. Um, our tour continues the courtyard, which offers breathtaking view of... Do I have my thing on? I do. I'm a dumbass. Uh... 
feeling bold to take routes beneath the courtyard to visit the boathouse. Finally, we end our tour at the top of the lighthouse, where the red light, where the red light of damnation will devour your eternal soul. We hope you enjoy your time at Icarus, and if Sir and the therapist is reading this, we look forward to seeing you die. Okay, well, kind of rude. Ignoring his father's instructions not to fly too close to the sun and the melting wax, yada yada yada. Want to go down there and poke a dead body? Can't, I still can't believe we saw a fucking alien spaceship. No. It's a fuse box. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're gonna make me walk all the way back and take the fuses. I fucking hate you. You piece of shit. Thankfully, those guys are the, the big threat of this area. They're not as scary as the fucking bitch with the mirror. Hmm. Yeah, sure. What the hell? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell do I do? Yep. And I'm fucked. Yeah. Because somebody wouldn't fucking jump. Why? Why does he do that? Why is it when he jumps, he just slows down? He goes from like... Immediately fast to just snail's pace. And then as soon as he hits the ground, it's back to fucking speeding. It, that is like the dumbest jump mechanic of all time. The dumbest jump mechanic. I know I said Windbound had a fucking stupid fucking control scheme, but at least their jump when I jumped, it went far. <laughs> this guy's got the jumps of fucking some average white dude. Makes sense because he's got the average fucking white dude voice. God, it's so annoying. I died because I'm a fucking idiot. Are you fucking done, asshole? It's blocked from the other side. Really? Now is not the time to be blocked from the other side. You are not asking me to jump across that. There's no way I can make that. Oh my god. Am I saved now? No, why would I be? It's a 
space for a crank wheel. What? It pops out if I turn it too tight. They fuck myself. What the? I don't. It pops out if I turn it too tight. It's a base for a crank wheel. I know, asshole. Huh. I see. out if I turn it too tight. I know. Yep. There you go. You did not just fucking do that to me, you piece of shit. base for a crank wheel. 